Hang on. What are we doing? The, this is the first video, okay? So yep. this is video number one. Well, they're going to go up at the same time. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. <laughs> Why? I didn't know you were going to say it. Oh, okay. Okay, I said one, two, three. Okay. But I'm sweating, so. Okay. I know. I can feel your freaking leg is sweating through my legging. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back. So my friend Sarah from Beauty hey Buzz Hub is here and obviously that means that we did some shopping. So last time Sarah was here, we did an epic haul and we posted it on her channel and my channel. So we're gonna be doing that again. So this video is obviously up on my channel and then there will be another one. So we're gonna divide this haul in half and put another one up on her channel. And we're, this is just like the first portion because we just went to Sephora and um, the hair supply. It was a hair supply I think store. It's like, yeah, a hair like supply. it's for like beauty supply mm -hmm. people. And I have a friend who took us there, and so we got some discounted hair products. So that's gonna be this haul, and then we're gonna be going um, a little bit more into Houston and into some more, a little bit more high end stuff, and that should be up like Mac, and then some high end stuff because we're gonna go to the Mac yes. store, like the Nordstrom counter. Yeah, like Nordstrom, New Marcus. That kind of thing so that will also be another haul so be looking for two hauls from the trip so anyways since this is probably gonna be long we're just gonna get into it but we have some Sephora and hair stuff so we're gonna just gonna kind of divide it up into um, like one 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 and then we're gonna find a good midpoint so we're gonna start maybe I'll just start with like showing the two I got like a shampoo and conditioner a new shampoo and conditioner so I'm just gonna start by showing that okay, so for the first things that I picked up are these smooth sexy hair shampoo and conditioner and these were two for fourteen dollars so that was a really great deal because you know, like when you're getting Pantene Pro V that's if it's like almost five dollars if you're getting the bigger thing so this is sulfate free and it says that it's um, style primed with coconut oil free of gluten and peritin. Um, it's an anti-frizz shampoo and conditioner. I do have like a little bit more dry hair, but I have a little bit more oily of roots. Like I have to literally wash my hair almost every single day. And I know that a lot of people are going to leave a ton of comments below of like how that's not good. I do try and use dry shampoo the second day. Like I have to be washing my hair because it just, it looks bad if I don't wash it because my roots get like really oily but I do like I said since I do I get highlights and stuff like the bottom of my hair gets a little bit frizzy and I do have naturally curly hair so anyways these smell really nice and good and they do have like that scent of like coconut oil Just take a whiff how many days do I have to wash how often do I have to wash my hair Ugh, it's so annoying she d washes her hair like every four days and I'm like did you and also she just like lets her hair air dry and her hair is like completely bone straight I woke up like this and she's like oh I'm going to straighten it and I'm like for what like it just dried like that you big <laughs> jerk I have to work like overtime on my hair to get it to look decent like I can't just air dry my hair else it's like curly and gnarly and all that kind of thing so I got a shampoo set as well and I've been so loving Pureology and this was like a huge value I think this was basically you got the inside one for free so this was 30 this is the multitask hair beautifier so I don't even know what that means it has 21 essential benefits so watch out it's a 10 Anyway, it's the hydrate, conditioner, and the corresponding. I love Pureology, and it was recommended by my extension expert. She wants me to use amazing quality products, especially sulfate-free. Sulfate is that time twister? Everything <laughs> is for me, Laura. <laughs> As for most things, like with Sarah and I, when we go shopping, like when we were in L.A. together, it was pretty much like, Sarah, what are you getting? Like, I got what you got type thing. Like, she'll, it's like I'll pick out something or Cassie would pick out something when we were in L.A. And, like, the Sarah would just, like, be like, I'll have what she's having, basically. So, she, it was like every single thing, she just would have what we're having. I mean, she's inspired by us. We're inspired by her. I mean, that's the thing when you're shopping with friends is, like, you see it and you know that they're going to be loving it. And mm -hmm. you're going to go pick it up anyway probably because they're like oh I love this and as always if you don't like something you know you can return it especially at Sephora because I did learn that from Sarah that you can return anything that you're not happy with to Sephora so I am like not like returning things gives me anxiety for some reason I'm I like pumping her up and encouraging and coaching yeah. like take it back yeah because I'm like I can't I don't know I just feel bad but anyway yeah. these are the this is the packaging we just got the same exact color so we got what is it called? Uh, I don't know. Social? Hey, 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 hey. Pretty Social and Pout. 
And pout is the color that it's Kim Kardashian it has made famous, somewhat famous. If you look on Pinterest and Google this on Pinterest. Yeah, so these are from Smashbox, the Smashbox lipsticks. Um, let me just go ahead and swatch them. So this is pout, Ooh. and it's like a really pretty pinky tone. It's a low it's, color. Yeah, this is like, if you asked me what my favorite color is to wear, like, despite what anyone says that I should or should not be wearing, it's this, this really nice, like, blue-toned pink These color. These lipsticks are extremely creamy, but I wouldn't say that they're very opaque. Like, they do take a little bit of time to build up, I noticed when I tried them on, so. Yeah, you were um, just rubbing that swatch. Yeah, like, I did, and I built it up. This next color, Pretty Social, is a little bit more of mauve. Like, let me show you them in the tube compared to each other. Laura will be doing swatches today too. <laughs> because we all, your... if you ever watched Sarah's pterodactyl swatches, you will know why I'm doing them. So <laughs> this one is, the top one is pound, <laughs> this one's pretty social. Pretty social is like a little bit more of a, I would say like mauve tone pink, probably a little bit more natural and easy yeah. to wear this color but it also again like it does take some building up to um, get these swatches down but this one is the pretty social and that one is pout. It's just like a really pretty color. I really really like that pretty social one um, and, and I think that this pretty social one will work for more people. I picked up some new hair products from this brand that is Moroccan oil and I've never had anything from this brand before so I'm super excited. We are talking to... You've never tried anything from them? No. Oh. I I've tried the green tub. What is that called? Or that's uh, macadamia. See, I get confused with it. They Terrible. both start with an M, so I get confused. <laughs> and they're really Very close confusing. in color, you know. So this yeah. is the hydrating yeah. styling cream, and it comes with a pump. And the girl there had similar hair type to me, and she loves this and recommends it. And then I also got this, which I'm super excited oh, about. I love her. Yeah, the intense hydrating mask. So That's the the Moroccan oil products in my experience, they smell so good and um they're really good quality products. I did you get the light oil? No, I already have the light oil. You can oh, okay. show that. She got the like Moroccan oil too. And I have the light version of that, but I thought I would give this a try to see that's just this that little one. guy of the just regular Moroccan treatment oil just to try it out and it's a great size for travel as well and that comes in light and then like regular why did they, she tell you because she you said oh i have the light why did she tell you to get i have the light because one? i have fine i have fine hair my natural hair is fine and i i don't know i feel like the light was just recommended to me by my extension expert yeah that's why everyone tells me to get the light because i have like a lot of hair but it's it's fine and so but i don't have the light i have the regular See, and i do find it a little bit heavy We'll see. Maybe I'll like put this in my hair and That's braid why it's it good to have bed. a sample size. Yeah, too. and this was like maybe four dollars. So no, it was only two fifty for this little size, which is a great yeah, deal. That is so a good deal. Bargain. Okay, again, so we went into Sephora and we both were like, okay, we have something on our list from Becca. Sarah actually got a different color that I already own, and so we picked up some blushes from Becca. And the thing is, is that they're always sold out at Sephora online so that's why we picked them up in store and Sarah got what colors did you get I got damselfly and wild honey do you already have damsel I don't I already have damselfly so I'll show that. but yeah so show that one so and I got wild honey and songbird so here's so the this, turtle compact yeah they come in like a little like drain stopper turtle <laughs> shell compact and so that's Damselfly, and like you want me to swatch it? Please. Oh. Okay, so this is Damselfly, and it's like a peachy, really beautiful, uh, nice, soft color. I just used this in a tutorial. I love this blush. I think it's actually going to be in my monthly favorites, so keep an eye out. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. Um, these blushes are extremely creamy and beautiful. They just apply like a dream. This one is Songbird, and it's a little bit darker, and it does have a nice like golden sheen to them, but these are so, so buttery. And I have that one, and it's... It's beautiful. It's so, one of the more unique colors. Yeah, so I'll say. show you the difference. As you can see, it's a lot darker than the Damselfly blush. So that's Songbird. Honey. Wild Honey is the next one. Cool. And this is a matte, uh, more like orangey color. And obviously this is inspired by Jaclyn Hill. I swear she's been talking about this blush for a while. Hence it's been sold out on Sephora's <laughs> website for like 
since since the beginning of Kingdom Come. Since she so started talking since about she it. started talking about it, it like has sold out, and it's, I think it's come back once. Wild Honey. Wild Honey is just a touch lighter than the new Makeup Geek blush in Infatuation. I actually yeah. swatched them next to each Ooh. other just to see, um, and it's just a touch lighter. So if you have Infatuation, if you just go light-handed with it, you could probably get the same look. But here are those blushes up close, and they're just beautiful. So we each got a new Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. I got mine in Opal. And I got mine in Moonstone because I already own Opal. And I already own Moonstone. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, so we just <laughs> so we just switch a room need. So, so this one is the moonstone and this one is opal. Moonstone is obviously a little bit lighter. Opal has like a little bit more of a yellow opaly tint to it. Here are the swatches right here. This is moonstone and the one on my knuckles is opal. Okay, so this is the opal right there. And this one's the moonstone. I have one more product from Becca and this is the Shadow in Light Bronze and Contour Perfector. Super cute, beautiful, kind of, what would you call that? Chrome almost? Yeah, the packaging. packaging. Ooh, oh, and look, it's black. Different. has a black. Compact. The other ones are like a rubberized almost. I like this better. It reminds me of CoverGirl kind of. Brown. -ish. So this has the shimmery bronzer and then also the contour shade that's matte. So there are those two swatched. I just thought this would be a great multi-functional product, obviously, but I might even flip, like swirl them together as well. So I'm excited about that. Okay, everyone, so that is the, gonna be the first portion of our haul. We're gonna just divide this up so it's not too, too long. So head over to Sarah's channel at Beauty Buzz Hub, and I will leave her channel linked down below as well as the video link to the next video part of this series. And we're just gonna go into, I got a little bit more lip products, and Sarah got a whole ton more makeup, so um, we're gonna, and some more hair stuff. Since we divided it up, we're just gonna head over to her channel to finish up part two of this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what we picked up when we got to shop together and there is so much more to come. We're having so much fun spending time with my family, um, with my girls. They're like obsessed with Sarah. They love her so much and it's mutual. Um, <laughs> they're pretty easy to love but um, we're just having so much fun together and I'm just so lucky that Sarah comes to see me. I really am. It's difficult for me to travel and so I'm so grateful that she comes to see me. I'm and portable. That, <laughs> yeah, and that we can have um, such a good time together. So anyways, head over to her channel to see part two and thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you all in the next video.